Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, we're going to talk about guarded. So again, we are continuing in our Use Your Authority series. So one of the things that the Lord want us to, you know, start doing is he wants you to begin to um, dispatch out your angels, okay? He wants you to understand, number one, that you have angels assigned to your life. Number two, your angels are bored. <laughs> they are waiting on you to give them something to do. So in this video, we are about to, you know, command the angels to go and guard, okay, a few things in our life, okay? And so I want to direct your attention to the book of Genesis chapter three, and we're going to start reading at verse 23. It says, so the Lord God banished him from the garden of Eden to work the ground from the from which he had been taken. So Adam and Eve, this is when this is after they have sinned, you know, they ate from the tree of the life where God commanded them not to eat from. And so and because of their disobedience, right, um, by eating, you know, from this tree, God now is um, banishing them from the garden of Eden. So verse 24 say. After he drove the man out, he placed, so they're talking about the Garden of Eden. After he drove the man out, he placed on the east side of the Garden of Eden, cherubim. When you look this word up in the concordance of the Bible, it means angel. So he placed um, on the east side of the Garden of Eden, angel, okay, and a flaming sword flashing back and forth to guard the way to the tree of life. So um, angels are ministering spirits, right? Um, and they are waiting on us to give them something to do, okay? And so one way how you can use your angels is by telling them, you know, like angels hearken to the word of God. And then angels, you know, again, we have a garden angel. So you can begin to pray and uh, ask God to send out the guarding angel to guard your house, guard your spouse, guard, you know, your children, guard your life from the enemy, right? This is how we, you know, we add another layer of protection around us, okay? We already know, okay, when you are obedient to the Lord, you know, it's a angels encamp around his righteous one, right? And then we have the hedge of protection that God placed around us. And then if you are uh, putting on your full armor of God, that's another protection, right? So here's another layer of protection, you know, that'll help keep you protected from the enemy is you praying and asking God to send out or dispatch out. I like to say dispatch, dispatch out my guarding angels to guard my household from the enemy, to guard, you know, my vehicle um, from the attacks of the enemy while I'm driving, guard my children, you know, while they are at school, you know, um, from any harm um, that make the enemy might try to send their way in Jesus name. Uh, you know, I dispatch out the angel the guardian angel to go and guard my spouse, you know, while he is away doing his everyday, you know, routine, right? So God is waiting on us to give our angels things to do. They are bored and they're waiting on us. Angels hearken to the word of God, okay? So let's get, you know, write down a few things you want your angels to do. Put them to work, okay? Because you have angels assigned to your life and God want us to use them. Okay. So with that, I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.